Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to show you my Baron's War Cavalry. I want to show you if one persists and paints slowly but steadily and focuses in one period what you can achieve in a few months. So this is for Baron's War skirmish game. And as you can see, after six months of painting, uh, you can see how great number of mounted knights you can have. This is very easily converted into two units and uh, you can fight also big battles. All these are commanders from Baron's War, or First Baron's War, and are partially, you know, some of them are barons uh, that are rebels, like Robert Fitzwalter, or some of them are with uh, the king, uh, John Lackland. And you see this is basically two, they can very easily create two units and you can fight a historical battle. So let's focus in a bit and see, you can see how um, easy it is to create a larger force by being um, consistent and by focusing on a period. Uh, these knights, colorful, beautiful, and from uh, different manufacturers, War Games Foundry, um, um, uh, Futsal Miniatures, Reconquer Design, uh, size-wise they're fine, and you can see the beautiful colors and how much how great these guys will look on the battlefield. This is what you need to portray on the medieval battlefield. The Baron's War color, these are, you know, French and English knights, well, Norman knights, and how beautiful they are, how beautiful they will look on the battlefield, all together attacking, fighting against each other. You know, um, in order to achieve a Baron's War historical battle, you don't really, really need uh, a, a, a big armies because the battles in the first Baron's War were quite small. For example, in the Battle of Lincoln, uh, William Marshall had around 200 mounted knights and uh, a few thousand peasants or even less in crossbowmen. So you see, but this number of miniatures, maybe a few more, you can achieve two really robust units and fight a battle. I will show you also the infantry in the future videos, but I think uh, uh, the reason I'm doing this showcase and I'm doing it like this from this, um, and I'm, I'm moving around the camera from this kind of, um, of distance, is you can see the colors and you can see how beautiful these knights looked on the battlefield with the different banners and the retainers and all um, their um, you know retinues and uh, you can use uh, flags and you can use coat of arms on the shields and all this how impressive they must have been so here we are from a closer angle and you can see the the variety of colors here is King John and how all these miniatures, all these banners uh, are looked together, how important and how beautiful. This is why I like the medieval era. I like for the color, for the different coat of arms and the different um, retainers and knights you had. And um, 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 everybody was had his own, uh, let's say, uh, story and everybody was fighting uh, for his own reasons. Uh, but all of them were honorable men who were fighting for glory and, of course, money. So, I think um, that this era that I'm currently uh, focusing in is an era that I consider extremely interesting. Not any major battles, but some very interesting characters that, you know, I will continue showcasing you one by one. We did the first one with William Marshall and um, um, Thomas Kant of Pesh, and we'll continue with uh, many more commanders. I think um, it's um, Futsal Miniatures and Reconquer Designs um, and, and many others, uh, North uh, Crusades, I think it's called, uh, some other infantry I have and uh, War Games Foundry uh, have some really beautiful miniatures and um, I think it's an era worth um, exploring uh, as maybe, you know, a, a medieval if, if you decide to um, accept 100 years war, obviously that is my favorite era. Um, it's a very beautiful era, very interesting era, very different era that is worth exploring um, if you decide to go uh, for a Baron's War um, army. So this is for me guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, um, a very imposing uh, unit here or more than one unit uh, for your table, colorful and uh, aggressive with the many possible manufacturers that can accommodate this era. Uh, thanks so much for watching, infantry coming in the future, maybe the whole army uh, deployed to show you that 
gradually and steadily you can create very big armies uh, without uh, taking too much time. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend and bye-bye.